down to calculate your chances of catching the coronavirus on the 25th of March 2020. So what you need to do is find out the total number of infected in your city. And for London is 2,872. And you times that by 30 because they are not testing most people with the virus. Anyone sat at home is not being tested. Only the people ending up in hospital. So that is at least 20 times and more likely 30 times the actual number. It may be even 40 times, but 30 times is most probable. So you take the total infected number on any given day here it's 2872 for london times it by 30 and you get 86160 and then you divide that by the population of london which is just under 9 million that gives you a one percent chance of getting infected on the 25th of march so if you go outside go in the tube or anywhere else well you got more chance of getting in a enclosed space if you go outside, you've got about a 1% chance of getting infected if you interact with people not from your own household. So let's see what it's like for other cities, other hotspots. We appear to have one here. That's probably Birmingham, yeah? So Birmingham got 187 confirmed cases. Times that by 30 and you get 5,610 divided by the population of about 1.1 million and you get half a percent risk. So about half the risk of those who live in London. I also remember the risk is constantly increasing. So you want to gauge it every day. Look, Sheffield looks like a hotspot. Sheffield 130 cases times 30, 3,900 divided by 540,000 you get 0.72% so not quite as high risk as London but higher risk than Birmingham so Sheffield is definitely turning out to be a hotspot so you want to be careful out there the risks are increasing let's see a major city that's lower risk uh, what's Leeds? What's the risk for Leeds? 42 cases divided, that's a 1260 times 30, uh, divided by about 470,000 population, that gives you less than 0.3% risk. So it's low risk, well, it's lower than Sheffield and Birmingham, but Bradford, that seems to be exceptionally small, 14, that's probably under recorded 14 times 30 is 420 divided by 350,000 gives you 0.1 percent so that is one currently one tenth Bradford is currently one tenth the risk of London so the epicenter of the UK pandemic is in London which is likely the highest risk place where people should be the most careful right now so no wonder uh, the government's panicked in building a 4,000 bed hospital in London because it is way ahead of the rest of the country in terms of risk, in terms of number of cases per population and the risk profile. So any, per, any one person in London going out on average has a 1% risk of getting infected. That is very high. Birmingham... It's still about half London, half percent. But remember, these risks are constantly increasing as the number of cases go up. Why well, Sheffield is not that far behind London. And then you've got lots of different pockets of risk. Let's see other major hotspots. What's this? Oh, it's just the county. That's no good to me. I want to know the city uh, Scotland do their own figures so the major risk areas are Birmingham well the major cities London 
that is well ahead of the rest of the country. All this 1% risk. Sheffield is, for some reason, is a hot spot in the north. Let's see what Derby is. If it gives you the city. Oh, there we are. Derby. 37. Okay, so let's do Derby. 37. And populations, I think, around 320,000. Something like that. That gives you 0.35% risk. Nottingham. 49 and the population is probably around 380,000 that's 0.4% risk so all so these are the risks for the 25th of March and they are going to be increasing every day they basically range from London's 1% which is the highest risk to probably Bradford, which is probably one of the lowest at 0.1%. That may be because they're under recording, but the risks everywhere are increasing. So you need to follow the government guidelines and stay indoors. It's not worth it. Be safe as the coronavirus pandemic storm hits. Starting in London and rippling out. Look at this. Don't know what city that is, but let's see. Is it this county or the city? Herefordshire. No, it's just the county. See a lot of these graphs. What's this? We've got one here. Came. Power cut. 